it's well known um, that Chad faces a lot of troubles at its borders, but it's also got its own internal fragilities. So Crisis Group decided to have a look at some of the internal problems that the country faces. And to that end, we went to two regions in the very middle of the country, Kanem and Baal Gazel, went to their main cities and talked to people to see uh, what kind of issues they were facing, what their relationships were like with central authority in Jemena. And we talked to them about their, their daily lives, the economy there, and migration was also a big issue. Firstly, it's a very, very poor region, one of the poorest regions of Chad, which is already a very poor country, so people are struggling, people are hard up. Um, there is a difficult relationship with central authorities in Jemena. Uh, some of the elites of those areas have nice jobs in Jemena, they may be in parliament, they may be in business, but the people on the ground feel left behind. There's another issue there which is very important to people, which is one of impunity. There's been some crimes, very serious crimes, committed by people and the perception is that those people are protected by the authorities and this is really generating quite a bit of anger. Now, there are some rebel groups whose uh, aim, whose stated aim is to overthrow President Deby, based in Libya, but they draw support in this region. And we have talked to people and we have kind of direct uh, witness statements that people are joining these rebel groups because of a sense of frustration and a sense that people who are close to the regime enjoy impunity. So there's clearly a, a problem in the relations between the local population and the state. Alongside this, a lot of people are leaving the region, going north into Libya. The vast majority of them don't join rebel groups. They're going just to seek economic opportunities. Many of them lived in Libya for a long time. This part of Chad has strong traditional links with Libya, strong trading links. So that kind of migration is a very important part of life in this area. Now the government is trying to block that migration in the mistaken belief that most of these migrants are going to join armed groups. Uh, rebel groups based in Libya. That's really not the case. Some are, but it's very few. And the government should, should be more careful about this. People migrate to Libya because they need to make a living, and that should be supported. People should be helped, particularly when they return, to bring their skills and their capital back. Right now, there aren't any armed rebellions or insurgencies in the uh, Sahel of Chad, the Sahelian belt, but the relationship between the population and central authorities in the capital, Jemena, is deteriorating, and that's very clearly a trend. And in the longer term, the stability of Chad will only really be sustainable, must be based on the relationship that people out in the countryside have with the central government. That's going to be the core stability of the country in the future. So when we see that relationship deteriorating, that's got to be a worry.